good afternoon guys so today i'm making sweet and sour chicken this is the chicken um what i did is mix cornstarch baking powder and flour mix it together with some water and then i add the chicken to it well seasoned this was seasoned for about two to three hours now so what i like to do is season my chicken like two or three hours ahead of time or a day before before I prepare a meal. That way the meat marinate more, it season marinate more, and it tastes really, really good. It tastes better to me. So this is the chicken. I'm waiting on the pot, the frying pot to hot. So whenever it's hot, I'm gonna put, add the chicken to it. The oil for the sweet and sour chicken, so as I said, I'm gonna fry the chicken first a little bit, and then I'll put in, put in, the, in that pot for the sweet and sour sauce so i'm gonna add the first piece you don't want it to be clustered so what you do is give it a little space make sure they're done properly Can add another little piece here just a little piece more okay so you're gonna stay there and fry for a little bit and it is brown when it's brown now on the two sides I take it out and put it in this here which is would be the sauce my chicken let me see also it's out there brown up on other sides I'm gonna turn them over Turn them over. All right, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the other two other side just finish up. Um, being brown, when it's brown, as I said, I'm gonna transfer it to this pot, which I'm gonna put this the, the sweet and sour sauce in it. There you go. I'm making my sweet and sour sauce. Let me show how I make my sweet and sour sauce. So I add my water. You know you have to have water. My water, I'm gonna add my pineapple juice. Add my pineapple juice. And then I'm gonna add a small amount of soy sauce. Just to give the color. And then I'm gonna add my vinegar. This is my vinegar. Now, I'm gonna add too much vinegar because you don't want to be too sour. Add your vinegar. And then I'm gonna add my ketchup. Let's not forget the sugar. So for the sweet, you're gonna add the sugar. Part of the sweet and sour chicken, you're gonna add the sugar. That's your sugar, not too much sugar either. And what you do, you're gonna mix thoroughly. I'm gonna add a bit more ketchup on it. And for you to make it kind of bit thick, because you don't want to turn out weak, what you do. It has add a small amount of cornstarch to it to make it a little bit thick. It depends on how thick you want it. What you do is add a bit, little bit of cornstarch in it. You mix thoroughly until the ketchup and everything blend together. This is a fried chicken before I add it in the sweet and sour sauce. This is a fried chicken. And I have some over there. I'm going to finish up. So when it's finished now, I'm gonna add them to the sauce and then um, I cook it down for a little bit. So this is the water for the sweet potato. I'm gonna boil the sweet potato. So I'm gonna wait until the water is boiled up a little bit or hot. So this is my rice. As I said, I'm gonna make, in, make some white rice. 
I always have to put a scale in. Um, in here, in America, they call it um, green pepper. So, um, my escalion and my salt with a lot of butter. That's how I cook my rice. This is the sauce, the sweet and sour sauce for the chicken. Here's the chicken. So, I'm going to make it cook down a little bit. So, now I'm going to add the chicken to the pot. So, what I do when you add it to it, you're going to make it cook down. down a little bit okay so you're not gonna add everything to the pot right here I think it part is too small but it can work what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stir everything together. Smells good already. The sweet and sour chicken. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook it down for a little bit. It tastes so good. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Tastes so good already. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover it, cover the pot, and make it simmer down a little bit. I put the stove on low very low and so now i'm gonna add the sweet potato to the pot it's a small pot because i know that it's just two of us so here is this i'm gonna taste if the rice is finished So, but I need a little bit more. A little brown water. So there you go. My sweet and sour chicken. Tastes so good. I wish you guys could taste it. It tastes so damn good. Smelling all good also. I'm going to put it on. Put back, cover the pot. Make it simmer a little bit down. This is still my um, sweet potato. They don't already as yet. And this is my rice. So there's my cabbage with callaloo and some squash on the side with some mixed vegetable from yesterday. I, what I did is reheat it and mix it and add the mixed vegetable to it to give it a sweeter taste. This is my white rice. It's well done. It's very hot also. This is my sweet and sour chicken. It's still cooking down because you know if, if the food has to cook nice. You know that, right? So I over here I have this sweet potato it's not soft yet, so it's not finished so what i want you to do guys is share subscribe to my channel because when you share and subscribe to my channel and comment this motivates me to do better so please share and subscribe please thank you Oh, so delicious food serve so I'm gonna I just put this in a box for my boyfriend daddy so he's coming by to pick it up so I just fix this for someone just take it out of the pot this is heating hot same way they're gonna pick it up in a minute so this is my sweet and sour chicken white rice with um, sweet potato and callaloo and cabbage mix with it's vegetable it's very nice you know what i could open a restaurant what do you think guys it's very nice very delicious also appetizing appealing also